In terms of the data we actually process, if it's not diverse, you end up with really biased insights. And then in that same vein, in terms of the people who are processing the data, if they are all of the same background and the same experiences, you end up with products that are not built for the masses. My name is Evan Bola de Bayo, and I'm the founder of Pino Analytics, a data consultancy in London. If you asked me if I was bored about talking about diversity 10 years ago, I would have said yes. Why are we talking about this? Stop asking me. I know I'm black and I'm a female. In this space, we have an extra responsibility to make sure that we are representing our people. And it is a lot of pressure, but what's the alternative? Like, this continues for many more years. We don't want that either. Tech in general, and data especially, is quite male-dominated. And what that means is growing up as a young girl, you don't really see anyone like you and anyone to aspire to. After you work in the industry for a while and after you observe things, you feel like you have to talk about it and you kind of take on that responsibility a bit and it becomes less of a strain and more of a necessity. I did start off with imposter syndrome like everyone else and not feeling like I belong, but I feel like eventually you kind of have to knock that out, otherwise you'll just hold yourself back. Being in Plexo, it made sense to refer to myself as a founder because I had a company, I was renting an office, I was hiring. It's like, what else do I need to be a founder? Having that support network from Plexor has been pretty amazing. We talk about things that people don't really speak really openly about, but everyone's struggling with. So I think it's been invaluable having that network there for sure.